Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Light of Hand, and today I'm bringing you a news video with Cubicle Sevens, the release of the Rightland poster map. Now, those of you who actually own the rule book um, or order through their uh, webpage or for their rule book, you would have got a PDF for this as well. I'm still buying it. Um, it's a very nice detailed map showing you a lot of the uh, t main towns, maybe some of the bigger villages, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I do have to say, I do love the map that comes with the uh, starter set, well, the PDF version of it. The map you get with the starter set is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be a bit bigger. Not completely complaining here. Anyway, this map will cost you €17.99. Now, if I remember rightly, with postal and packaging, it costs 20 here in the UK. That's with postal and packaging, guys. I don't know what there's. Uh, I think it was like €25. Euros, somewhere around there. Anyway, a full coloured A1 poster depicting the a map of the Glorious Reichland, a prime setting for the phase one of the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay supplements, as de detailed in chapter 10 of the Fantasy Ro Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay rulebook. The high uh, the map is perfect and suited for f forming or using in your RPG gaming sessions. Dripping with useful details for both players and GMs, the map of glorious Reichland presents the Grand Province of Reichland, one of the most powerful realms of the Sigmar's Empire. From the dank swamps of the Grotznich Marsh to the west, to the, wide, to the mile wide flows of the River Reich to the east, the map pictures dozens of towns mountain ranges, dark forests, filthy marshes, hiding places and much more. All of this, all of, all of which are ready to inspire your next grim and peril adventures. Okay guys, so one of the things about this map, I wonder if it would let me, I might have to zoom in. There's one thing I, what I, I really, really would like them to do. Now, for one, I would love some information about the dwarfs in the these lands in the two main cities Karak Ziffel and Karak Azraga I know I'm butchering that but there's another place if I can find it yeah Castle Drakenfels just there just there I would love them to do something for the Castle Drakenfels anyway guys now the thing that's got me here is this thing they say with phase one and if they're talking about the next phase being phase two, what would you think it is? Now, my guess is going to be Midlands. I don't know why, because for me, that's the next sort of like really big, uh, and also more popular um, province within the empire. If it's not that, maybe Bretonia or Kizav, maybe guys. Um, I'm sure there's loads of people that would like Lostria, if I'm saying that right, I could be saying that wrong, which is the Lizardman area. I wouldn't mind a, uh, something to do with Norska, to be honest. I think that'd be really cool, but, you know, being one of the tribes of the Norse up north, you, even ones that don't have to follow chaos, you know, like maybe not chaotic or not realising they are following chaos. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this is just a short video. Tell me what you think. Tell me, oh, this is uh, done by Cubicle 7. And uh, I'd have to say, again, you could, if you bought the rule book through their webpage, you would have got a PDF for this. Also, if you look at the back of the rule book, you can kind of see this, but not it's not as a A1 poster. So that's going to be quite big. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you like this video. If you do, please click like. Tell me in the comments down below what do you think Phase 2 will be. But also add what you would like Phase 2 to be. I think it's going to be Middenheim. My, and my reasoning for Middenheim is, if they're doing the Enemy Within campaign, and if they're going to follow it to a certain point, and they may not follow it all the way, you've got City of the White Wolf, uh, Power Behind the Throne, and also the book that came with that, if I remember rightly, was City of the White Wolf, which gives a whole big details of Middenheim. So I've got a funny feeling we're going to see Midlands as the Phase 2. What I would like is probably something to do with Norska. Maybe chaos. But that's me. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below. And yes, 
And also, have you been playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay? If you have, tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all well. See you later. Bye.